Good afternoon, friends. It's Miss Amy, and it is Middle Grade Book Talks time. And today, I'm actually going to share um, five graphic novels that I think you might like. Uh, there, uh, and again, I am going to uh, turn to my trusty reading log. Uh, where I have uh, written summaries of each of the books that I've read and um, so it just helps me remember uh, about the book. So the first one is Roller Girl which was a Main Student Book Award book and it was the winner in 2015. Uh, it is by Victoria Jameson and it's a realistic story of friendship um, and how they can change as, how friendships change as we get older. Um, even from year to year in a school year, your friends might not be the same or you may not uh, look at each other the same way because you don't have the same interests or whatever. So uh, it's the ins and outs of perseverance and uh, you learn a lot about roller derby which uh, we happen to have a roller derby right here uh, in uh, Camden, Rockport, Midcoast area. Um, so I thought kids would really like this. It was fun. Um, and uh, there's a lot, of, um, a lot of friendship drama, but um, it's normal. So liked that, Roller Girl. The second one is was published in the same year and it is called rutabaga the adventure chef and this is volume one and he's just a silly chef that is traveling around having these adventures and he um is cooking and accidentally helping uh people get out of problems and he always solves the problem by cooking in some way uh, so they're kind of just silly and light and adventurous and the illustrations are funny and quirky and there are actually um, several in this series but this was the first one. So Rutabaga the Adventure Chef by Eric Colossal. Uh, the next one is Cease, uh, Witch Boy. Ooh. Boy, which boy? Ooh, which I loved this series. I did not think I was going to. So, this is Witch Boy, and it's by Molly Knox, uh, Oster Tag, and I love the illustrations that she did. Um, Aster is a boy who is sneaking around, listening to his sisters and their magical training because he has a knack for it. But boys are not supposed to do um, learn that type of magic. Boys are supposed to be shapeshifters. But there's some issues, and he's breaking boundaries, and um, boys are forbidden. Uh, but he figures out a way to learn, and um, he'll be the difference when things begin to happen and cousins uh, disappear in his family and everything, and Aster is the one who, um, who helps everything come together. And I love this Breaking Down Barriers uh, story. And there are three in this series now, um, and I have loved every single one of them. The next one is called Cece's Journal, and I loved the illustrations and the concept behind this story. This one is Cece's Journal, uh, The Adventures of a Writer in Training by Joris Chamberlain and Aurel Aureli Nyrit, and I probably butchered that last name. Um, anyways, uh, it's a first second publication, uh, it's translated from French. Um, it is, uh, Cece is a wannabe author. She has a somewhat tenuous relationship with mom, but isn't um, forthright with the truth. So she's not telling the whole truth. Uh, she watches people and ends up discovering two mysteries surrounding two older community members. And she ends up helping both of them and discovers more than what she bargained for. 
uh, including more about herself for friends and her family. I loved the illustrations of this. They are beautiful, um, soft illustrations, but there's a lot of emotion and um, a lot to discover in this story. And I love, I love the ideas behind uh, what Cece does for her, um, the elderly people in her life that she comes across. So the last one is uh, Pilu of the Woods by uh, Mai K. Uh, Nugent. And uh, this one is um, from 2019. So this is the newest one that I've read. Uh, one is a child of the forest and the other is just a modern child. And both are dealing with feelings of anger and being left out and loneliness. And when they find each other, and begin to woe is me uh, to each other, they realize that together they can help each other find who they are and deal with um, their issues uh, because they're not alone, actually. They have each other and they have others who are there to help them. Uh, and these are really, um, it's a nature-y, um, beautiful story, so uh, the illustrations are really fun um, and mysterious, a little bit of magicalness to this story. So, I hope you like those graphic novels. Um, they're all ones we have in the library. You can request them um, through the card catalog uh, and put them on hold. Uh, you can call the library or whatever for curbside pickup. Hugs to you all. Miss Amy.